morning everyone happy saturday so i'm just jumping on really quickly i think the last time i vlogged was last night as you would have seen i went to a place called amigos for dinner with my friend it's like a really nice mexican restaurant the food was incredible and it's so funny because me and this friend we haven't seen each other in like five months we planned nothing about like you know what we were going to wear and stuff like that we ended up wearing pretty much the same outfit we were both in dresses well she had a turtleneck dress like a turtleneck maxi dress and i had a maxi dress with a turtleneck um jumper over the top kind of like folded under if that makes sense with boots and I didn't realize but we both have like a beauty spot in the same space and then also we ordered the same drink same main and same dessert also i realized once we left the restaurant that we weren't charged for our desserts so we actually got free desserts but yeah it's saturday morning now i'm just waiting for my sister to get into town she's actually coming to spend the day with me and my son she's bringing her daughter who's the same age as my son which is great because they those two are just obsessed with each other but the reason why i'm jumping on really quickly is because i wanted to show you i've just got a royal mail delivery and i wanted to show you i'm gonna do like a dedicated video but i just wanted to kind of like open it with you guys because i've been waiting for this handbag i'm not gonna tell you where it's from just i'll save that for the video but i basically got a goyard dupe handbag and i'm really excited i'm really hoping that it fulfills my what's the word I'm really hoping that it lives up to like my expectations because basically I saw this girl on Instagram Reels. She's got absolutely phenomenal fashion sense and she was wearing like a really casual outfit. I think she was talking about how she just got back from holiday and she was wearing a really casual outfit and she had a red mini kind of like Goyard tote. And so, yeah, I wanted to get that. And obviously I don't want to spend the money on a real Goyard tote because well, I don't have the budget. So I had a little look on and I found it. So, um, it actually comes with a Goyard, is that how you say it? Goyard, Goyard, um, dust bag. So I actually have quite high hopes for this because I got a Tiffany ring from AliExpress before and it was identical. So I'm really excited. It comes in this little dust bag. She's cute, but she's definitely burgundy. Oh, and it does say Goyard on there as well, Goyard wow she's really cute but she's not the red that i wanted um yeah but i don't know we'll see i mean it is a beautiful color i just wanted the red like that girls on instagram oh, it's really cute i really like this so it's just an open bag and then it has a little wallet inside so i think i'm actually going to swap my cards into this and i think i'm gonna wear this today because my um yeah like i say my sister's on her way over and we're gonna take the kids to the library i did suggest feeding the ducks but it's actually started raining so probably not gonna do that and we're gonna take the kids for lunch at mcdonald's just because our kids have very basic tastes and they just love a happy meal so yeah we're gonna go to mcdonald's for lunch and i'm not gonna lie where i'm kind of due on i've just been eating terribly like last night i had cheesecake yesterday i also made that easter bark that you would have seen and ate a decent amount of that and the day before that you would have seen in the vlog where i <laughs> ate an entire pack of cookies i'm just i'm really on a downward spiral with my food and it's definitely showing up on my stomach like my stomach's really bloated at the moment and then obviously today i'm having <laughs> mcdonald's but I think I'll have um, the soup that I made the other day. I'll have that for dinner. So I'll have a nice light dinner. But yeah, I'm really happy with this bag. I really love the color. I'm really excited to wear this bag. I feel like it's a really nice pop of color. And you know what? I'm just in a really casual outfit. I've got that sweatshirt on from Fruit of the Loom, the one that I got from Amazon. And I've got my Timu gym leggings. Timu, what's it called? Lady Lady. My Timu um, gym socks. And I've literally just got my hair in a claw clip. I've got a bit of makeup on because my skin is breaking out like absolute crazy because I've just been eating so much toot. And oh, I've also got the sports bra on from Timu as well, like my new favorite sports bra. So I feel like with the red nails and the cute bag, I feel like that's maybe gonna pull up the outfit. So yeah, I'm gonna swap my stuff over into this one. So yeah, I just ran and grabbed my bag that I used last night for dinner. So I just took this little belt bag out with me. It's like the perfect size. You can fit quite a bit of stuff in here, but it's still a small bag. So yeah, I'm just gonna take my stuff out of here and put it in my new bag. 
So we've got the tag here, if you can see. I'll pull that off. And now I can start using my new tote. So yeah, I'm gonna swap my pieces over. So I was using this card holder. And I'm just gonna take, um, I'll take all my cards. You never know. So yeah, I've got so many like store cards. So yeah, I'll just take them all just in case because I don't know where we're going to go today. And I like to collect my points. Everything adds up, doesn't it? So I'll pop that in the bag. And the thing that I like about it as well is it stays secured to the bag. So that's not going anywhere. I'm going to take a hand sanitizer. This is just like the one that has a moisturizer in it as well. I'm going to take a hairbrush. It's just like a compact mirror and hairbrush because... The weather is not going to want to cooperate with my hair today. I'm going to take my favorite body spray at the moment. This is the Poundland one. It smells absolutely incredible. This blooming rain needs to stop, honestly, because I really wanted to go and feed the ducks, but it's just, I don't feel like it's going to be an option today. Um, I've got a hand cream. I'm not really like crazy about this hand cream. I'm just kind of trying to use it up so that I can get another one. I don't really like the scent of it. And also it's quite a watery consistency but I just got it in a pinch because I didn't have any and I needed some my hands were dry and then dry now actually because I've just been washing up then I'm gonna take a lip balm this is the poor poor one I'm actually gonna put some of this on as well because my lips are super dry it always throws me it's so sunny but it's like torrential downpouring at the moment as long as it's not windy, I don't mind. I also need to put my ring on. I haven't got my ring on because I was washing up and I don't like to wash up wearing my new ring. Um, what else am I gonna take? I'll take some chewing gum and then, should I take hairspray? No, I don't think I'm gonna take hairspray. I think that will be everything. And that's like a good amount of stuff in there. I could fit more in there, but I'm not gonna, I think that's, Perfect. I'm so happy. I actually love this handbag. Another thing that I just quickly wanted to show about this bag. Oh, two of my books fell, sorry. Um, three of my books fell. Is that it fits perfectly over kind of like the crook of your arm. You can just chuck it over like this. Or if you really wanted to, you could have it as a shoulder bag. Like I could wear it like that comfortably with this sweatshirt. If I was wearing a coat, I don't think I would be able to, but that's perfect. I thought you were only able to wear it as a top handle. So very functional. I'm very happy with this. And it's just so stunning and like kind of understated, but I'm loving this pop of color. I don't have any like bright colored bags really. I have like one blue, which is like a powder blue kind of color, which is a Radley bag. But I'll, um, there you go. I'll bring you in closer just so that you can see the details of the bag. It's so stunning. I just think it's really pretty. This is gonna be so nice. It's gonna literally be perfect for spring and summer.
you're gonna have to ignore the state of me i wasn't planning on coming on camera right now but i'm like basically ready for bed like i'm all oiled up no makeup hairs obviously a mess but i have to clip it away like i want to clip my bangs back so that i don't get oil in my hair but i wanted to quickly show you a couple of things that i picked up from amazon they just got delivered today they were meant to be delivered yesterday but i missed both of the deliveries so they've come today and i thought i would open it with you guys so the first thing that I picked up is a camera. I just wanted to get a camera because I've actually been vlogging on my phone. I used to vlog and like film on a Canon G7X and then I got the um, iPhone 14 Pro Max and the camera quality is really good, but it doesn't kind of film very well in poor lighting. It films really good quality in like decent light, but cameras are just much better for filming in kind of like not great lights. They kind of adjust depending on what lighting you're in so i thought i would give it a go and just invest in a camera it's not like a really expensive camera it's just kind of like one that was in my budget i've just realized i've cut myself with the scissors out yeah it's just a cheap one i just thought i would test it out because it had really good reviews and it wasn't that expensive so i thought i would just get it and kind of just see how i got on with it so that i could have my phone as my phone and my camera as my camera So this is what it looks like and then it has a little screen that pops out on the side here i'm excited to like test this out and see how well this goes it's also got a port for a mic too which is nice i'm not gonna lie it feels cheaper than the um canon g7x like it feels light ah don't want to do that because I don't want to mess up my nails. Okay, so batteries in. Let's have a look. Okay. Do you know what? I'm not sure if the quality is actually better on my phone. Than it is on the camera on the camera i look really blue and on the phone i kind of just look normal ish the obviously just like the color looks a bit off because it's getting darker but yeah i'm not sure about this yeah i don't think the quality is that good if i'm honest there were such good reviews about this camera hmm. I'll have to play with it and test it out and see what I think. And then the second thing that I got, I'm only going to show you really briefly because I'm doing a dedicated video on it, but it's basically a handbag dupe. It's a Pauline handbag dupe that I found on Amazon. And if it's anything like the pictures on the Amazon site, then I feel like people are going to really, really love this handbag. So the dedicated video, which will have all of the information about the price and the link and obviously like the seller, I will make sure to leave that video linked down in the description of this vlog so that you can obviously find all the information in one place. So yeah, if you do want any information about this particular handbag, then just refer to the dedicated video because that will already be posted. Very thin dust bag. Let's have a look. Wow. It's really pretty. Monday so I just wanted to check in really quickly I'm literally in the exact same outfit I was in yesterday but um I took buds to town today I didn't really do anything special but I just wanted to show you a few things I picked up from town because I did get a few bits this may be interesting this may be really boring but if it is boring then feel free to skip forward and if you like these random little hauls then obviously continue to watch so the first place that I went to was the kind of like little co-op express place um in our town just because I needed to do a return. I wanted to return that camera because it was just, mm -mm, the quality of it was just not okay. So went in there, did the return. I also picked up some apple juice cartons for my son, just handy to have out and about on the go. I also had a chocolate brownie and he had a Kinder Egg. And then I also got these, 
which are so freaking delicious and we got through the box really really quickly i'm just feeling very cravy at the moment i'm on at the moment so i was like i'm wanting food and the next place that we went to we went to starlings we didn't get anything in there we were just playing with the toys in there for a really long time it's like one of my son's favorite things to do and then we went to Waitrose, we went to TK Maxx. So from TK Maxx, I did get a couple of things. So first thing that I got is some vitamins. These are from Vitawell or Vitawell. They're the Focus Mind and Concentration Gummies. I just thought I wanted to give these a go because they're meant to help with like fatigue and stuff like that. And I don't sleep very well because my son doesn't sleep through the night still. I know we're like three and a half years in, but he still doesn't sleep well through the night he usually wakes up two to three times so i feel like i just need like an extra a little bit of help there and i thought maybe this could help me who knows and then i also got some multivitamins for my son these are the mr men and little miss omega-3 multivitamins they're in the orange flavor and you just get 30 and these are for three to seven year olds i think yeah three to seven so got those for him and then the last thing that I got, this was just like a purchase that was next to the till, is the Palmer's Coconut Oil um, Hydrating Lip Balm. This has SPF 15 in it. I just thought that would be good because it is getting a bit more sunny now. And I mean, I need good lip balms anyway. And I really like this brand for their other moisturizing products. So I thought I would have their lip balm too. Next up, I went to Poundland and got a few things. So one thing that I got is these um, chocolate filled croissants. My son absolutely loves these and they're individually packaged. So they're really good to like put in lunch bags. If like we're out and about for the day, it's like a quick, easy grab and go snack. I don't like to make a habit of getting those, but he really likes them and he was hungry while we were out. So I just grabbed him them. Oh, I did forget one thing from TK Maxx. I got some cookie cutters, so I want to do some Easter baking with my son, and I thought maybe we could make some sugar cookies or something. So I got these little kind of stamp cookie cutters with the like stamp bits, so they have the pattern on the cookies as well. I thought that'd be a really nice idea and something fun for us to do, like a little bonding activity. And they were $4.99, which I think is a really good price for those. So moving back to Poundland, I got some colouring pens, these are just the Colours Felt Tip Pens, it's an 18 pack and these were 75p. My son has still got some in his pencil case but they're starting to kind of like run out now so I got rid of a ton of them and I just thought I'd replenish with like a few more colours so he's got like a good set of colouring pens because we do like a little colouring session. I then got some washing up liquid, this is just a fairy washing up liquid, it's apple and rhubarb. I love these kind of like more fresh scents for my washing up liquid. I needed to pick up sponges. These were, I think like a pound maybe, but they're the thicker ones than the other ones that you get at Poundland. You can get some like really crappy looking ones. And I just got these ones. They seem to do the job and I'm out of sponges at the moment. Then obviously because it is that time of the month, I just got some pads and I needed some shampoo and conditioner. I was gonna get my sulfate free one again, but I had a look in store and it was 13 pounds per bottle and i know you can potentially get it cheaper on amazon so i might still order it off of amazon for getting the shampoo and conditioner but for the time being i just went with the l'oreal paris lv dream length so it's a restoring shampoo with vegetal keratin and castor oil it's meant to reinforce fragile lengths apparently so hopefully this will help my hair, I'm not really sure. Now that I'm looking at it, it says it's for long damaged hair, which my hair isn't long, but I'm hoping that it's gonna grow. But it basically says our restoring shampoo and creamy caring formula is perfect to say goodbye to thinning damaged lengths while cleansing your hair. So I'm really hoping that maybe it helps me with my hair growth journey. Fingers crossed, so thought I'd give these a go anyway. I haven't tried these before. And then the only other thing that I got from Poundland, I wanted to save the best thing for last because I cannot believe the price of this because it's actually really good quality. I got this. How cute is this? So this really simple kind of like line drawing picture and it's framed as well. And it's like a really decent sort of like sturdy frame. I mean, it's not the biggest, but it's also a pretty decent size for the price. And I think I picked this up for two pounds or two pounds 50. And I really love it. I'm not sure whether or not I'm gonna put it up in my bedroom or if I'm gonna put it up in the living room, but I definitely wanna put it up somewhere in my home, but I'm really excited. There is another one actually in the store and I'm wondering if I should maybe get a couple and I can put them above my TV potentially, because I am getting a new TV. My dad bought one and he's letting me have his old one. So my TV is gonna like 
times by three, it's going to be much, much bigger than the one that I've got at the moment, which is nice because when I look at it from like sitting on my sofa, it almost looks like I'm looking at kind of like a computer screen, not a TV because it was originally just bought for a bedroom. And then when I moved into this apartment, I just put it with me because I obviously needed my TV, but yeah, it's not like I watch TV that often anyway, so I'm, I don't really have the need for a TV, hence why I've not bought a big TV, but seeing as how I'm just being given one for free, so I'm going to say yes. And then the last thing that I did was I went to Tesco's Express because I wanted to pick something up to eat because I'm feeling like quite snacky today, so I picked up some sesame seed bagels and some eggs, so I'm probably just going to have eggs mixed with maybe like mushrooms and courgette and then have them on top of a bagel, so I'm probably going to do that now, going to make Bubs a little bit of lunch as well and probably going to make a smoothie because I didn't eat the best yesterday, I tried out, you would have seen in the vlog footage, I tried out Slim Chickens in the town that I live and it was incredible, not just the food, but the service as well. So the service was like really friendly, but also the food came out like ridiculously quickly and the portion sizes were really big and it obviously tasted incredible as well. And I just literally would give it a 20 out of 10. It was such a good experience. And I had an Oreo milkshake and it was just so delicious, but I'm not used to having such big portions and I ate so, so much and I ended up feeling so sick. I was just kind of like sitting at the table questioning my decisions and I was thinking I don't really feel like I can parent right now because I felt so sick and I just didn't want to move but I managed to get through the day digested the food and then I felt great and yeah it was amazing I had the chicken burger that they do there with their fries and it was absolutely incredible my son had a kid's meal which did not look like a kid's meal again like I say the portion sizes were really good so yeah, I would highly, highly recommend checking out Slim Chickens. I'm also really excited for this week because I have a Primark opening in my town in two days. So on Wednesday, the Primark is opening in my town and I'm so excited. I'm going to go to the opening and see if I can get some bits because I absolutely love shopping Primark. They have some amazing pieces for obviously much more affordable prices than a lot of high street retailers. And I'm just really excited for that. The only place that I can really go to go to a Primark is Cambridge. And I obviously can't go to Cambridge that often. I mean, I can, but it's just a relatively decent drive away. And you can get the bus. It's just, it's, it's a lot of faff with a toddler. Last time, I went to Cambridge was probably just before Christmas, which was lovely. And I definitely look forward to going in the summer, but I don't go there that often. And like I say, I haven't been to a Primark in years. Mm. I'm just testing out that lip balm and it is really, really good. It feels so comfortable. Mm. I really like that. It smells really nice as well. And it's, it just feels like you've got like a little bit of coconut oil on your lips. That's really, really nice. I like that very much. Oh, also, can I take a second to like pat myself on the back? I feel like I've been vlogging loads recently. Um, I'm going to try and vlog more. The reason why I don't vlog that much is because I never really feel like I have much exciting stuff to show you guys. But I feel like maybe I'm just going to start vlogging my day today and then maybe some exciting things will happen. But I want to get more into the habit of vlogging like my daily life and things like that and then hopefully more exciting stuff will maybe crop up and I'll feel more comfortable vlogging in public because I'll be more used to it so yeah I am I'm really enjoying it though I'm liking kind of like picking up the camera a lot more so I hope you're enjoying it too good morning my loves happy thursday so it's a new day yesterday i didn't really vlog that much just because i was obviously trying to be in the moment and be present but i had a really nice time with my sister and my niece and obviously my son we went bowling we played in the arcades um and then we went to town we had a mooch around a few different shops we went to the primark opening which was really cool it's like oh my god it i just was walking around and i was like oh my god i'm so happy just because it was huge there's so much choice and there weren't really any places that I could really go to to get like things like really nice underwear really nice sleepwear things like that and Primark definitely hit that on the head and it's like an affordable price as well so I'm gonna pop back in there today I think and just have a little look around by myself we were in a bit of a rush yesterday because my sister just wanted to pick up a few things from Primark before she had to catch her bus back to her town and so we weren't in there for very long 
but I had like a quick kind of like scout around to see what I would want to go back to today and see. Um, also, we had the kids with us, so we didn't want to drag them around the shops for too, too long. So yeah, it was a really nice day yesterday. Had a lot of laughs, good company, good food, and obviously like really fun activities. I tied with my son at bowling and I wasn't trying to like help him win or do better than me. And I was obviously like putting in effort in my turns as well. So it was absolutely gutting. My sister came first, me and my son tied and I cannot believe that I tied with a three-year-old, but I did, but he was really good at it. He obviously got to use the kind of like little ramp thing, which you'll see in some of the clips, but yeah, it was just really good. We did some of the driving games and then obviously like some of the arcade games too. I spent like 10 pounds just on arcade games he just kept wanting to go on like the same things again and again and they didn't like give you very long on them so i was like constantly having to put pound coins in and then having to go and get more change but there was a really handy thing in the kind of like bowling alley slash arcade bit which is uh, before you used to be able to like put cash into a like a machine that would give you change now obviously because time's kind of like sped up and i feel like technology is catching up now um you're actually able to just like tap you can choose the amount of change that you want and then you can tap your card which obviously is going to help them generate more income because people are going to be able to spend more because they have funds readily available for them if they don't have cash which not a lot of people do so yeah that was really handy dangerous but handy so we had to keep like going back and just like top it up and getting more change which was fine the kids had such a fun time it was just so magical and it's kind of like the day that i've really been wanting to have especially with my son i wanted a day where i could give him no end of fun and like be really present with him because i've been in like a bit of a negative headspace recently like the last few days i'm not going to go like too much into it but obviously there's just like some stuff going on in my personal life and why do i feel like i'm gonna cry um yeah i just i don't really feel like i've been um very present i've kind of like had my mind on other things so one second um oh my goodness i didn't expect to do this i'm really sorry <laughs> i um vowed that i would never do this on camera um but yeah, um, that's why, like, I'm going to the gym this morning. I go to the gym every morning anyway. Um, but I just feel like where my mindset's kind of, like, been a little bit more negative recently, it's been even more important for me to, like, go into the gym and move my body and just kind of, like, get some endorphins going and try and, like, get some happy hormones going. So, yeah. I'm feeling, like, way more positive. I had, like, a day, maybe, like, two or so days ago where I was just so unbelievably anxious and, like, feeling really depressed and really pessimistic about life for some reason. Like, everything just seemed like it just wasn't going to work out in my favour kind of thing. Um, like, everything scared me. The thought of motherhood scared me. All of a sudden, I found that really overwhelming. The thought of, like... um youtube as like my job terrified me as well like the inconsistency and the fear of like things not panning out and yeah it's just obviously where i'm basically like the sole provider for my son there's obviously a lot of pressure on my shoulders um and yeah i think life just got oh, a bit overwhelming but um <laughs> I do, believe it or not, even I'm crying, I do feel a lot more positive today. Like I've had music playing on in the background while I've been getting ready for the gym. And um, like I said, we had a lovely day yesterday and I felt so much better yesterday. I didn't sleep very well last night, so maybe that's why I'm a little bit more emotional. But um, yeah, I'm going to try and pick it up because I don't really want to... Um, sit in these negative emotions, so I'm going to go to the gym... But I just wanted to come on and intro the vlog because usually my son doesn't go to his dad's until like later on in the morning. I usually kind of like leave at the same time. But he actually went before I left this morning. So he's gone a bit earlier. So I was still getting ready. I thought I might as well kind of like intro the day and like say good morning while I'm still at home and let you know the plan for the day. So, so yeah, I'm going to get out, go to the gym and i'm going to i think i'm gonna just maybe treat myself a little bit today so i might get a couple of things from primark i saw some really cute things in there i might treat myself to like a nice coffee maybe even go and buy myself some flowers like i feel like i really just kind of want to 
I just want to treat myself a little bit because I feel like nobody else is going to, so <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'll do it for myself. But yeah, I just feel like I kind of need that little bit of self-love maybe today, so yeah, I'm excited for the day. But I'm using my new oh, favourite bag. I'm so obsessed with this. I've literally been using this every single day since I got it. It's absolutely incredible and I really love it in this burgundy colour. I wanted it in the red if you heard me talk about it previously. I wanted it in red but it came in burgundy. I didn't manage to get the red one but that's fine. And I now officially want this in every other colour. I know that they do it in a green and I think for summer the green would be absolutely perfect. Oh, okay. Hello sunshine peeking through the clouds. This is my sign that today is going to be a better day. I'm sorry I'm like blinded now but this is exactly what I needed. That's just put the biggest smile on my face. I'm so so excited for the day ahead. Um, but yeah I'm using this beautiful handbag and I just need to go through it really quickly because I know that there's some stuff in there that I'm probably not going to need and I don't want to carry any excess stuff like there's a little egg that I won my son yesterday on one of the little kind of like claw grab games. There's nothing in there now. There was a key ring. Um, I'll take out an old receipt. I don't need an old receipt. There's not really that much in there that I don't need. I think I'll keep everything else with me. I've also packed a little snack for after the gym just because I'm not coming straight back to eat. Usually I come back and I'll have like my protein intake. Like I'll have three eggs and... Um, usually it's like courgette, onion and mushrooms but for now this will just tide me over it's just like something healthy it's got like all natural ingredients in it another thing that I've also been trying to do recently where my mindset's not been the most positive and this is definitely something that I really do feel like has a big impact on like my mental health is bad food I've really been trying to avoid processed sugar as much as I possibly can because I've been having it every day and I've been having it a lot I've been having a lot of kind of like um, processed sugar, which is obviously not great for you. I'm also trying to kind of like reel it back for my son as well. He's had a lot of sugar recently and I don't want him to kind of like get used to that. So yeah, I'm just trying to make better choices and just kind of fuel my body, make sure that I'm taking care of myself, like my body and my mind. I also want to get back into journaling because I stopped for a period of time for a couple of reasons, um, which I won't go into, but yeah I feel like I really need to do that I feel like I need a bit of a brain dump I also feel like I need just to kind of maybe get clear on what I'm wanting out of life really because I think that's where a lot of my anxieties are coming from where I feel like everything is kind of like up in the air and there's not a big decision in my life that I need to make but there is an action that I need to take which is I'm not gonna lie stressing now but anyway I digress Yes, loving this bag and there is, I think, already a video out on this bag, like a dedicated video giving you like more information about this bag. So yeah, I'm going to head off to the gym, go to Primark and just treat myself to a really nice morning because I think I deserve it and I feel like I'm going to date myself today and yeah, treat myself like a partner would, so. If you haven't done that before, then this is your sign to maybe do it for yourself too. I'm not sure if I showed you guys actually. I picked up this mirror um, on the same day that I picked up the floral picture from Poundland. So obviously I showed you guys, didn't I? The floral picture, that same afternoon I went back to originally get another picture, the same one to put there. And then I spotted that that I didn't see the first time round. And so yeah, I grabbed that and it was only five pounds and it looks so much more expensive than it was. Like if I was to get that from somewhere like Dunelm, I mean, it's only plastic, so it would probably be maybe double the price, maybe a little bit more than double, but for the price of it, I just think you really can't grumble. It looks so expensive. Until obviously you touch it and then you realise it's plastic. But I'm more about the way things look than the way that they feel. Nobody's going to be like feeling my mirror. So <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy with it. Like size and everything. I think it's perfect because I wouldn't want anything more heavy. That's why I'm happy that it's plastic actually. Because I wouldn't have been able to really hang that very well if it was any other material. Like if it was metal or wood. Because it would have to be quite solid. Meaning it would be heavy and there's more chance of it falling. So I'm really happy with it. And I'm very happy with like the way that this space is looking i've also showed you i think already but i got my delivery of my candle the fireplace candle from suffolk candles honestly such an incredible smelling candle it is so beautiful and i absolutely love it it reminds me of my grandma's 
So yeah, I'm very happy to have that as well. And they've also switched up their packaging because that's very different to any of the other ones that I've got. So I've just finished filming my Primark haul. This is one of the pieces that I actually tried on in the haul. I absolutely love it. I just wanted a really comfy sweat set for the house. And I finally got one because I've had to throw out so many of my jogging bottoms because they've ended up stained and um, you're just gonna have to excuse my hair I don't really know what it's doing filmed that there wasn't really too much in the haul but it was like a decent enough one for a dedicated video but I just needed to get a couple of random bits and I definitely think that I'm gonna go back to Primark because I want to get some like nice clothes basically I want to get some more kind of neutral toned clothes and just maybe like some summery pieces to so almost welcome in spring I'm really excited to see what they come out with this spring and summer because I know that there's going to be some incredible pieces and I'm so excited. I fought the urge to buy sandals just yet. They had some really cute ones in there and I was really tempted, but I was like, no, you don't need any sandals. I also saw a really cute handbag in there and I was like, uh, and then I was like, no, you've only just got a new handbag. Uh, technically too because i'm about to do a video for another handbag it's an amazon dupe for a pauline bag so yeah i'm about to film that but i really don't want to get out of my sweats mm. but i am i'm gonna make the effort for you guys and i'm gonna put a nice outfit on and film that in just a second but i think first i'm gonna make a cup of coffee and then i will film that because i'm cold so i'm gonna use it to like warm my hands up a little bit so I'm just about to run out really quickly. I'm just gonna pop to the shop and do a return. I just need to go to the little co-op just to do an every return really quickly. So I'm gonna wear my favorite bag again and I'm literally just gonna be in that all black sweat set. And then I might just put like my really nice trench coat on just to maybe like dress it up a little bit so I don't look like maybe such a bum. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna head up there really quickly. I'm gonna spray myself so I smell nice and good. And then I definitely need some lip balm for sure. And then I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do after that. I've got some editing, so I might come back and do some editing. I usually like to edit in the bath because usually when I've gone out and then I come back in, I'm really cold. And I edit on my phone. So I like to defrost in the bath while I edit. And then, yeah, I think I'm gonna do some editing. And then I think I'm gonna do some journaling because I just feel like I'm really in my mind today and I keep getting really emotional like I got obviously like I cried before I left for the gym but I even like started tearing up in the gym I think like four different times I started tearing up um and then like I was just having a little bit of a sit down and a think and a reflection on some things like some choices that I have to make and yeah I got a little bit emotional then as well and I feel like maybe it'd be good for me to have a little bit of a brain dump almost like just kind of sitting and talking to a friend, just kind of getting some of my feelings out. I think that'd be really good for me. I'm obviously feeling like very positive about things. Um, I'm just feeling a little bit vulnerable and a bit scared at the moment when it comes to like things in my life, which I'm obviously not gonna go into too much detail about, but a really exciting thing that I have got coming up later is I have my friend coming over this evening so she's gonna come and sit and hang out with me and we're gonna have a catch up because she's been solo traveling and she's been doing like these random little trips here and there and she's just come back from one so I'm really excited to see her and I still haven't been able to give her her birthday presents yet and her birthday was in December and I really want to give her her birthday presents I think I've shown it in a previous vlog the things that I got for her but I have actually changed up the packaging a little bit. I didn't put them in like a gift bag or wrap them or anything like that. I actually put them together in a gift box. So yeah, that looks really cute. And I'm really excited to give her that and her birthday card because I don't think that she's expecting that. I'm not sure if I let the cat out of the bag or not with that one. But yeah, I'm gonna head and do my return and then I'm probably gonna come back, have my bath, edit, journal, and then maybe do a little bit of meditating as well. I'm just really trying to kind of prioritize keeping myself in like a positive headspace because I know that when times get a little bit tough, especially when you're an adult or like a young adult, it doesn't even have to be that. Like just everybody has their own kind of like stresses and pressures in life, do they not? And I feel like at the moment I'm having to do a lot of adulting and it's very intimidating when you maybe, I'm trying to find the right way to describe it when you don't really feel like you have anyone to fall back on, it's a very scary concept thinking that you don't have, I mean, I obviously have people in my corner, I have friends and I have family. There is not 
a solid core person though that I feel like I could lean on in like a hard time and I think that's very scary um yeah it's just the way the relationships in my life have gone and it's not because there are bad people in my life I have the most supportive friends but they all have their own stuff going on I have a really supportive sister who has a lot going on in her own life and it's it's not that people wouldn't show up for me it's just I don't know it's yeah I'm just trying to like navigate life and at the moment it's weird because I'm very much I think personally I think I'm a very much glass half full kind of girl I always try and see the positive in things and I always think that there's like a lot of hope in situations I always think negative things that happen they always happen for a reason whether it was to teach us something or to redirect us in life I'm very kind of like big on that I know that the universe kind of has a plan for us at the moment um the thing that scares me is I kind of feel like I've lost that a little bit I've lost my faith in things like working out if that makes sense I know they will but there's like for some reason at the moment there's just like a little seed of doubt in the back of my mind at the moment and yeah the unknown is kind of like a little bit scary um especially since I've become a mum because I have somebody that's relying on me so yeah I'm not gonna <laughs> I'm not gonna get all emotional again because I don't want this whole vlog to be like a boohoo I want it to be a happy vlog because I'm in like a I'm in a relatively decent mood, but when I like sit and reflect on it, that's when these seem to like crank on into overdrive. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Come on, let's go and do this blimmer return. Jeez Louise. So yeah, this is the present that I got for my friend. I just put it in this really cute little gift box that I picked up from TK Maxx. I think it was only like £2.50. So then she's got her ring here and the chakra bracelet as well. And then I just put some of this tissue paper in or whatever it is, this kind of like packing stuff. I picked this up from Poundland. It's like their Easter shredded paper thing. It's just like a bag filler, present filler. I'm not really sure what it is, but I had some left over from my mum's birthday gift. So yeah, I just used it to fill up the box. What do we think? Can I get away with this? Does it look that bad? <laughs> I just can't be bothered. I'm so comfy and cozy. I don't want to put anything else on. And I don't want to change again because I obviously just did a try on. But I feel like the coat kind of hides the casual look of the sweats. But yeah, I'm just going to literally put trainers on with this. I'm hoping it's okay. And then maybe the bag dresses up a little bit. Who knows? Why am I trying to explain myself? I just want to be comfy. Yeah, I'm literally just going to wear these trainers that I wear to the gym all the time. They're just my Disney ones. My big girl trainers. Here we go. Does that look bad? I don't really care if it does. I mean, by the time you watch this, I would have already gone out, so yeah. I think I've decided to definitely obviously keep this tracksuit. I mean, of course, because I'm wearing it. 